ni plica. In full plica is rare, it is a diagnosis of exclusion. The majority of plicas are medial. So what is a plica? It is embryologic remnant of synovial folds. The synovial folds can be thickened and sometimes it gets inflamed and 50% of the patient may have blunt trauma to the knee. The plica can be suprapatellar, infrapatellar, but mostly it is medial, which is located over the medial femoral condyle and vulnerable to trauma when the knee is flexed. Repeated trauma or irritation may lead to inflammation and fibrosis of the plica. And when fibrosis occur in the plica, that will decrease elasticity and that can cause impingement on either the patella or the medial femoral condyle. So it may cause synovitis or chondromalacia of the edge of the medial femoral condyle. Evaluation of the plica. The diagnosis is usually done by exclusion. Usually there is an activity related anteromedial or medial knee pain with catching or some giving away of the knee. The patient may feel a stabbing sensation or pain with repeated activity. When we examine the patient, sometimes we feel that band that you can roll it under your finger. This band of tissue is sometimes painful. The presence of plica itself doesn't mean it will make pathology or create symptoms. So how do you locate this plica? The plica can be palpated just above the joint line and the palpation is facilitated by having the patient flex and extend the knee while the physician palpate the medial femoral condyle next to the patella. MRI may not detect the plica. How about the treatment? If the plica is symptomatic, you can treat it by rest, non steroidal by activity modification, by physiotherapy modalities such as ultrasound or iontophoresis. You can also give injection of steroids. If all fails, then you can do a section of the plica, which is rarely done, but it is very effective. Before you do that, make sure you don't have saphenous neuritis. Thank you very much. I hope I was helpful.